So Youth Save is a five-year project to design and test the impact, social and commercial, of savings accounts designed around the preferences of low-income teenagers in four countries. We're working in Colombia, Ghana, Kenya, and Nepal. We had a meeting in Washington, D.C. here recently where we brought all of our global project stakeholders together, including our bank partners, and we're able to show them a successful example of a bank bringing its services into a school through Capital One's program here in Prince George's County, outside Washington. Um, and I think it really provided a ton of inspiration and ideas and really demonstrated the impact that bringing banking to school can have on students. I've been learning a lot about financial literacy, so all of the things that I learned, I made sure that I passed the message on so that I'm not the only one benefiting from that knowledge that I learned. Well, I remember one time when my mom was trying to purchase a car, she had she wanted to get some auto loans. She wanted she needed advice on auto loans and I let her know that she can go to the bank and then they can help her out with the auto loan stuff and they actually had good interest rates and then everything worked out. So me knowing that stuff, it just basically enlightened her and helped her out. I immigrated here when I was four years old, almost about to be five, from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, in East Africa. And coming from there, you know, feeling the struggles of coming to a new country and not being able to express myself and telling people how I feel, to now being in a position where I'm talking to new people every single day and educating folks and, you know, telling people about all of these great things and that I've learned about financial literacy. I'd never imagined myself in the position I am today. I had a chance to speak to the ninth grade class, tell them about being responsible. You know, you're starting your high school year, it is important for you to start off strong, you know. And I thought, I never thought I would be able to do that, you know. Speaking in front of crowds, being interviewed, never thought I would be able to have the opportunity to do that. One thing that one of the student bankers said, um, was, you know, this job that she has, Capital One Teller, they, I think they make $11 an hour, and she actually stood up in, you know, in front of all of us and said, you know, I, I now have a better job than both of my parents. And I think that, you know, it, that kind of puts into perspective the vulnerability of the communities that we're talking about that are being invested in. And this is the same sort of situation that we see oftentimes in developing countries as well. Um, that it's the parents that didn't have the same access to education, don't, that are, are, you know, now still excluded economically and financially. And they're putting a lot of their investment, a lot of their, um, kind of eggs proverbially into the basket of their children and the futures that they have. Um, and I thought that it was really fascinating that we're seeing the same sorts of dynamics at play here.